So iPhone 13 is almost here, and we have a lot of confirmed features and even confirmed naming based on leaks which recently appeared, and I'll get to those later on in the video. Now, if you want to jump to a specific part of the video, then use the YouTube chapters below to jump to a specific feature. So if you're new to the channel, iPhone 13 is slated to be released on September 24th. This is based on what we now know that the confirmed keynote date is September 14th, and following past years, it means that the pre-order date is going to be the following Friday. And while the phone itself is yet to be announced, there's a lot to be excited for. So first up, we have the confirmed naming of iPhone 13. We've seen leaks previously, which you can see on screen now, that show iPhone 13 Pro Max cases that are leaked from factories, and as well the labeling for an iPhone 13 box. There have been previous debates that it was going to be called the iPhone 12S or something kind of in a mid-range model, but this is confirming that the iPhone 13 is the official naming of the phone being announced this month. And in terms of features, again, there's a lot to be excited about. And that all starts with the display, which is said to be an always-on display, where it shuts off most of the pixels to preserve battery life, but can still show you important notifications. This will resemble a similar feature to what you have with the current Apple Watch model, where the screen always stays on. And additional improvements to the display mean 120Hz ProMotion display, which is currently on the iPad Pro models, now being brought to the iPhones, which is going to make it look much more crisp, and much smoother. I'm excited to see it on the iPhone lineup. And this is one of those things where once you use it, you'll never want to go back. Additionally, we've got two new colors coming to the iPhone lineup, finally with a matte black option coming on board, and a new orange model which, based on renderings, look really cool. There's said to be some notable improvements to the camera that are coming, including astrophotography, giving you the option to take much better night photos of the stars. Additionally, there's going to be beam-forming microphones, which are currently built into the AirPods Pro, coming to the iPhone lineup, meaning much more crisp audio and isolation of noise around you to focus on the subject. And there's also going to be fingerprint coating applied to the stainless steel edges of the Pro models, which, as you can see by the photo, are much needed. And additionally, MagSafe, which was introduced on the iPhone 12 lineup, is going to be much, much stronger on the 13s, which isn't really a big deal for the base model of the 12 or the 12 mini, but then when you get to the Pro models, that's where they get heavier and they are going to need these stronger magnets. So I'm excited to see how much better everything works with this new lineup. And there's also been rumors about satellite communications being used to send text messages and make calls, meaning you no longer need to rely on your traditional 4G or 5G service and are potentially able to actually make those calls when you have no service at all. That's been debated back and forth, so we'll have to wait to see if that's part of the iPhone 13 launch. A concept done by Instagram page Apple in the future? Imagine what it would be like if Apple were to bundle their services together. Ideally, these would be kits which come at a discounted price by you buying multiple Apple products, and personally, I think it's genius, and I'm excited to see if they announce this with the iPhone 13 lineup. And this makes sense considering they recently bundled all of their services together, so the natural thing to do would be to do the same thing with their products. The first one is what they're calling an iPhone starter pack, complete with an iPhone, AirPods Pro, a MagSafe battery pack, and a leather MagSafe case. Now I'm assuming if Apple were to release this, you'd of course have the choice to upgrade that based on the phone you want, based on the case and color you want, but assuming it's all the products that we're seeing on the box right now with those exact customizations, we're looking at a total of $1,236. Now I think it'd be likely that we would see $100 to $200 discounts by bundling all of these services together, making it come down to $999 US. Now with the potential savings of $236, is this something you would consider picking up? Or do you think something else should be included in the box, like say, a wall charger? Let me know all of that down below in the comments. Next we have the iPad Starter Bundle complete with an iPad Pro 11-inch model, the Magic Keyboard, and the Apple Pencil 2nd Gen. This is everything you need to start off your journey with a new iPad. Retailing for $1,277, and assuming a similar 20% discount, you'd be looking at $999 for this pack as well. And if you are someone who's investing in a Pro model iPad, then I would say that this bundle actually makes a lot of sense. Next, we've got the Theater Pack, and this is coming equipped with an Apple TV 4K, and a HomePod Mini. While this one seems to be the least likely of kits to actually come out, I could see it being a potential if they were to bundle two HomePod Minis together so you could pair them with an Apple TV. But the retail price for one Apple TV and one HomePod Mini comes to a total of $279, again assuming a 20% discount, 
that would bring this whole product to 229. It's also worth mentioning that this would likely come with one free year of Apple TV+. Next, we've got the mini pack. Again, one of the least likely kits that would come out. This is everything Apple announced, which is a mini product. That would include the iPhone 12 mini, the HomePod mini, the Mac mini, and the iPad mini. Retailing for a total of $1,826, assuming a 20% discount, this would bring it to approximately $1,429 still getting a decent amount of savings for a ton of products. Now next we've got my personal favorite and the one that I think would be most popular if they were to announce these packs, and that's the all-in-one pack. A convenient way to step into every part of their ecosystem. Starting with the standard iPhone 12, the latest Apple Watch, and AirPods Pro. The all-in-one pack would retail for $1,477, and assuming a similar discount, would be starting at $1,180. So again, all of these are just concepts, but they make a lot of sense considering Apple is starting to bundle all of their services together. And assuming you're someone who likes to upgrade multiple products at a time, this makes a ton of sense. Let me know in the comments which of these packs you would actually consider buying. Leave your vote in the comments down below now. While you're down there, remember to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from me, as the iPhone 13 is right around the corner and I'll be releasing my review and the latest features coming soon to the channel. While you're down there, remember to hit the like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.